Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Eat Pancho, back at you again with another video. And so for this next one, we've got to head over to Emma Green, which is roughly about two miles out from Reading Town Centre. A lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram to cover this story, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching will know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, at around 4pm yesterday, that being the 3rd of January 2021, police were called to Bugs Bottom Fields in Emma Green following reports of an assault. When they arrived, a 13-year-old boy by the name of Oliver Stevens was found suffering from stab injuries, and unfortunately he was pronounced dead at the scene. Initially, police didn't go on to make any arrests, but over the course of the past 24 hours, they went on to arrest five teenagers, that being four boys and a girl, all of similar ages, being 13 or 14, on a conspiracy to murder, and they all still remain in police custody, but no one has been charged as of yet. Senior Investigating Officer Detective Superintendent Kevin Brown, head of Thames Valley Police's Major Crime Unit, said, This is a fast-moving and dynamic investigation which is ongoing. We are in the very early stages of this investigation, but we believe that the victim was attacked by two or three males who made off after the incident in the direction of Hunter's Chase. There will be a very considerable police presence in the area of St Barnabas Road and Gravel Hill for a number of days, and we have a very large scene in place. Now, for you guys who might not be from the area, it's actually known for a lot of dog walkers and people passing by, and one man said that his wife was walking their dog through the park, and his wife saw Oliver on the ground with several people gathered around him trying to give him first aid. He declined to give his name, but he said that his wife said that Oliver's face was, quote, very white. Another dog walker said she went through the fields at around 3.30pm and saw a group of youths standing near woods, describing it as, quote, slightly unusual. The incident has understandably shaken the community, seen as it's an area not really associated with knife-related murders. Local resident John Craig said, From my dining room window, I could see lights up in the field yesterday afternoon. I came out and there was a helicopter just sitting there. It's shocking that this is on my doorstep. It's not the sort of thing you'd expect to see around here. Everybody around here goes for walks, especially during lockdown. It's supposed to be a safe place to go. Oliver was said to have attended High Down School and head teacher Rachel Cave has recently put out a statement which reads The High Down community is reeling from the tragic news that a 13 year old boy was stabbed in Emma Green. This student was a part of our community and many students and staff knew him well. For a life to be ended at such a young age is a total tragedy. Our thoughts and prayers are with this family. Many have been deeply affected by this tragedy. In normal circumstances, we would open the school and welcome in students for support before the start of the term. We are currently unable to do this, of course, but are arranging counselling support and will be establishing an electronic book of condolence. High Down is a supportive and close-knit community. We'll work together over the coming days and weeks. So as it stands right now, there isn't too much information as to what exactly happened here. And I just want to say that, yes, I am aware of what social media is saying. And I know that there is theories that have been put in place. But we have to allow the police to do their investigation. And then over the following months, we'll find out what exactly happened. I can't make comment on what's being said on social media as well, because I wouldn't want to put this case into jeopardy. But again, as soon as I get updates, of course, I will keep you guys updated on this situation but i do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to oliver losing your life at 13 in these circumstances is again like the head teacher was saying it is such a tragedy and it's going to be a massive loss for the community and all of his friends to experience this loss at just the age of 13 all of his friends and family are going to be going through a very hard time as it stands right now so i do want to send my condolences out to the people that have been affected by oliver's death but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Spinny Boy 8 Pancho, and I'm out.